So, you remember the previous video, I was saying I needed a trailer. Well, I got to thinking, I was like, you know what, I do live on a lake. And there's an awful lot of boat trailers floating around. Just so happened my buddy Chuck has got an old boat trailer. And it used to hold an 18-foot Sea Ray. And he's had this trailer for good 15-plus years. And uh, it's, it's not rusted through or nothing. It's just got some surface rust on it. 100 bucks. Bam. Here is going to be my new improvised utility trailer. Granted, it only had one wheel. He happened to have two wheels sitting over here with tires on it. They're fairly dry rotted, but it'll get it back to the house down the street until I can get the tractor supply tomorrow and get uh, a new set of wheels and tires for it. But I think this will be a good, cheap solution to having a utility trailer. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn this into a cheap trailer, which that's what it is, but not for a boat. Sweet. So I'm going to see if I can't get this wheel on here. I'm having to dig it out because it's sunk. This has been sitting here forever. And it's sunken down the ground. So I'm not only having my bottle jack on hand, and I'm having to lift it up and stuff. That was me talking in between the yawn. <laughs> so let's get this thing back to the house so I can start making a game plan. Here's another cool thing. I had to borrow these wheels and tires from the guy I got the trailer from because it, like I said, was missing a tire. And uh, I asked him if they were for sale. He goes, no, man, you can have them. The tires go flat. And he bought some different tires and wheels for his pontoon boat. So, dang, guy just got some wheels and tires for free. So it looks like today, I'm not gonna be tearing the deck apart because I wanna try to engineer a couple cross braces for this. That way I can just go ahead and load that wood on it the way it is. I talked to my neighbor up the hill. He's got all the welding equipment. He's a big fabricator. To see what it would cost to put a flat utility bed on this. And I got a call place tomorrow. See about getting some uh, metal or the metal tube to make the frame. And then he said he'd weld it all up for me. And then I just have to buy the lumber to make the deck. So that'd be cool. Hopefully I can get this done for half the cost of a 16 foot utility trailer which is about $1,700. So if I can get this done for like 700 bucks, I'm in it to win it. So the only other thing I need to do is get a new set of lights for it with the right connector because that ain't gonna work. I might go use the original wiring in the trailer, but I need, I think it's like an eight pin or some kind of connector for that. Get done. Grease this up, the landing gear works good. And cool thing about this, I can unbolt this for where the, the uh, front hole of the boat rests. I can scoop this up and change this out for a hand crank reel. So that'd be good too. Uh, I got to remembering when I had my Chevy Express van and I went with my best friend George to go pick up a trailer that he bought and I didn't have the right connector on it. Well, guess what? Bam, here it is. I think this is exactly what I need. I hope so because I spent $30 on this goofy connection. <laughs> Look at that magically delicious goodness. That is exactly what I need. Do I have trailer lights? Nope. Nope. Might have to get a trailer light, a trailer wiring kit. And that would suck. Let me see, are you on? think you are oh well the hard part's done maybe it's just the bulb thing come on man give me one yeah turn signals check it one came on when I jiggled my light connection oh look that one here are you on too ah look they came on it was just a connection thing sweet man all the trailer lights were rocking out so I was sitting there thinking like how can I make this trailer 
and then use it tomorrow to haul the 16 foot lumber. So I had brought these two by fours back yesterday in Sequoia. Now they're eight feet wide. And if you look, they would be perfect width to go across the trailer and not exceed the wheelbase of this axle. Now I don't have any bolts, tractor supplies, everybody's closed where I can get hardware to anchor this stuff down. But I do have a bucket full of rubber straps. So this is what I'm doing. I took the two by four going across this way and I took the strap and I run it underneath here on this side and I looped it and come back around and hooked into here. And this side, I pulled it tight and up underneath the side step. It is tight. It might slide back and forth just a hair, but it ain't coming off. So I'm going to do the same for the front to hold the front of the boards and then probably put two more along the top. And that will also, if I really wanted to later when I got the big boards here, I could lay those across this and anchor them to this. But I'm not going to do that right now. I just want to make it to where I can put these boards across and they won't droop down and hit the ground and flex up and down. And so Pastor Joe Fox said something that made a lot of sense today i think he said it was a quote from general george Patton, and said a good plan violently executed is better than a perfect plan executed too late you know pastor joe fox also says make do what you got where you're at i'd say this <laughs> fits that bill pretty good so yeah these two by fours they're not going nowhere. They're really good and tight back here, but the front ones are, you know, a little bit looser just because there's not so many different things to hook onto. I was going to use this, uh, these T posts for something, but I don't think I got to now. So yeah, I say that right there is a trailer that can haul 16 foot boards and i think i'm gonna go make a test run there's also some metal out there that i can put on here and if i had some screws when i get those 16 foot boards i can lay them lay them on top of these two by fours screw them in to it and i can basically have a deck i mean i can use it for whatever if i just wanted to sheath it i mean it's it's a trailer now <laughs> i can use it so yeah let's go see let's go see how she does the only thing i'm worried about is this wheel bearing over here doesn't have a cap on it i'm gonna have to get a bearing buddies i can put in here i can pump some fresh grease i'll probably end up having to repack those bearings or get new bearings for it before i start using this thing a whole lot this one over here is nice and it took a bunch of red and tacky Took a whole bunch, took about 12 pumps. So I think I'm okay, but that's the only issue right now. I found a chain, it didn't have any hooks on it, but I looped it through here and I had a little padlock and I got the chain stuck together. I mean, that's, that's good enough. I need to get a bolt and run through here so they don't pop off. Yeah, just about ready to roll. You know, there's so much winning going on right here that it should be, be illegal. <laughs> you should see the looks on people's faces when they would pull behind me. They would get real close to kind of figure out what the hell is going on here. Now, I'm gonna grab this metal because I'm sure I can use that for something. Well, here we go, the first haul. I think it's gonna work out good. Like I said, the only thing that worries me is that wheel bearing over there since I don't have a cap on it. But I don't think anything's gonna slide out. I got three straps on it. Looks pretty good. Mm, sit him in here. So yeah, let's get back to the house. Well, the trailer made it. Back to the house. Only issue I had was these black slinky pipe. <laughs> flopping all over the side of the trailer the only other issue that i've noticed is my tire on the other side is getting warm now this one here you can see it's 
it's split and it's dry rotted this is trail america but this tire here is nice and cool the wheel and the hub is cool this tire of course is the same tire trail america but it is warm and this hub here yeah, I don't think it's any warmer than the other one. Uh, I don't feel any that excess heat here. So I'm not really sure why this tire is getting warm. And the other one isn't. The rim feels good. Back here, I don't feel any heat. Yeah, you know, I don't feel any. The hottest thing on this side is this tire. So I'm not really sure what that's all about. Is it a bias ply tire? Um, I can't tell. But if it is a bias ply tire, it probably needs to have more tire pressure in it. It does appear to be just a little bit low. That might be the case, but I might go up to Big O tomorrow. See if they will have a better tire, like a Goodyear. Get the tire switched out on it. The last thing I want to do is deal with a blowout. This one over here, like I said, it feels good, but it's got that ridge on the tread right here, which I don't know what that's all about. Plus, it's got a little patch here. So, yeah, I think a new set of tires in this trailer would probably be a good investment, especially if I'm hauling some weight. So, yeah, hope you guys like this video. Jamie does <laughs> so oh yeah something else I gotta fix I can't get the hatch open on the Sequoia now this is a typical problem the hatch cable in here is wore out and uh, I gotta try to figure out how to get that open again but oh well it is what it is got a trailer y'all see y'all later